I'm all about making it right, and after you make it right, you've got to keep it right. That's why we're going to talk about radon. It's the number one leading cause of lung cancer after smoking and is responsible for tens of thousands of deaths a year in North America. It's colorless, it's odorless, it's toxic, and it can be in the air inside your home. Uranium is a metal found in soil and rocks. When it decays, it produces radon gas. That can come right up through your basement floor. When radon gas gets trapped in confined spaces like your home, it becomes dangerous. This is so important to me that I've made it my mission over the years to educate myself, my family, and you about the risks of high levels of radon in the home. It's important to my dad and it's important to me. And what's more important than the air we breathe? Keeping our family and yours safe and healthy is our number one priority. We can tell you all about radon and the science of the home, how it breaks down and how it gets in. But first, let's talk about what happens when radon gets into our lungs. For that, I'm calling on my leading expert, Dr. Aaron Gudarzi. Doctor. Hi, Mike. It's uh, really good to be on here and let's talk about radon. So radon is a uh, unstable radioactive gas. And as we inhale it, it breaks down very quickly. As it does so, it emits a kind of radiation called alpha radiation. And what the alpha radiation does is it creates damage to the DNA of all of the cells inside our body, specifically those where, uh, that are inside our lungs. And that DNA damage is really difficult for our bodies to heal correctly. That leads to mutations which drive those cells into cancer, which is why radon is an extremely dangerous uh, for long-term exposure because the amount of DNA damage it does creates very quickly a cancer-causing scenario in our lungs. You know, I didn't know that it affects DNA mm -hmm. and that kind of makes sense. So people often ask me, how does the radiation from radon compare to other radiation that we encounter in our lives? For example, like the dental x-ray. Radon is usually um, inhaled in much greater quantities than any other kind of radiation we would have in our lives. We're going home and inhaling that every hour we're in our house as compared to, say, the once a year dental x ray we might have. The uh, testing for radon is relatively inexpensive and very straightforward. And if your house is high, the important thing to note is there is an extremely effective solution. A couple of days work in your basement and your house will actually be made safer than anyone else's. Thanks, Doc. Thanks, guys. My pleasure. Radon can be in any home, anywhere. It can enter through cracks in the foundation walls, joints or gaps around service pipes or window casings. Just about any place where there's room for air to escape, it'll escape. Just because your neighbor might not have high levels of it doesn't mean the same for you. The only way to know is to test for it. For more information about radon and its effects, please visit the Lung Association website and Radon Environmental for the best products to help protect your family from radon gas. Make it right. There are a lot of things to consider when buying a house outside of an urban area. Our obstacle now is the well. When we test a home that's in a rural environment like this and it tests high for radon, 100% of the time there is radon in the water. Once we determine that there, there is a high level of radon in the well water, we have a system called air well, and this system sucks the water up from the bottom of the well, and the water is effectively aerated, releasing all the radon outside the house where there's no harm. Radon is the number one cause of lung cancer for non-smokers. Now that we know it's harmful, we need to make sure that we mitigate this problem. You're saying we can have radon gases in the water in this home because there's a well? Absolutely. There's lots of studies taking place looking at the incidence of colon cancer and stomach cancer from the ingestion of radon contaminated water. When we turn on our tap, we're aerating the water and that releases the radon back into a gas form into the house. Yes. When I'm showering, when I'm running water. Yes. That is nuts. I didn't even know radon could be in my water. It's well water. It's coming from the ground. Why can't it be in the water? Hell yeah, it can. So we're gonna test the water, get the radon level in the water, and then we'll decide together whether we put the air well in. Since the well is drawing from a similar area of bedrock, we were pretty much just safe to install that pump.
gonna talk about the furnace room for a minute. I think for this house, we use this device here. It's called a Radostat. So what this does is it senses the indoor air quality 24 seven. So it's an active system the day we install it. When it peaks at 150 becquerels, right. turns on, mitigates the radon. So even if the homeowner's turned off the control upstairs, this will turn on the HRV on high speed and initiate an air change that rids the house of radon in that fashion. Mm. So I think with this device, we'd expect to see levels that would average out somewhere around 50 to 60 becquerels. Every single home should have one of these little gadgets that goes into the wall that tells the HRV to turn up to 100% because it senses radon. So you can be comfortable, safe for you and your kids. I've been a contractor for over 30 years and I know that when we build smarter, we're building for better, healthier living that will protect our families and our planet for years to come. One of my home's approved builders, RDC Fine Homes, is installing a radon mitigation system at a new build in Whistler, BC. And that's exactly why RDC Fine Homes is one of my approved builders. They're proud to offer homeowners a healthy home. They pride themselves in providing their clients with the best indoor air quality. Hi, my name is Bob Deeks from RDC Fine Homes. We're here at our latest new construction site in Whistler, installing our very first radon mitigation system. Radon is an invisible gas that's radioactive and can really negatively impact the air quality in your home. Recently, we've come to understand that there are pockets of radon on Vancouver, Squamish, and Whistler, and so as an initiative for RDC, we're gonna to start to implement a mitigation system on every one of our new projects. What you can see in the background there is the guys have just finished the radon block installation. It's a combination of underslab depressurization system and our underslab insulation. We always insulate underneath our slab. We're gonna put a membrane on top of that called radon block. That'll seal the slab in. It also acts as our air barrier. And then as a final strategy, we're gonna add a controller called a Radostat to our heat recovery ventilator such that as the Radostat picks up elevated levels of radon in the house, it'll bump up the ventilation system until that elevated level of radon is decreased and then it'll set the heat recovery ventilator back to its original setting. It gives us peace of mind that for every new home that we deliver to our clients, we're ensuring that we're delivering on the very, very best indoor air quality. So David, we've already addressed the air quality issues in this country house here per radon. So now we don't have to worry about breathing in radon in the house. However, because we are on a rural property, we're on a well. What a lot of people don't know is radon actually gets trapped in the water molecules. So if we're in a well, the water's not properly aerated. And what can happen is you can ingest that and you can get stuff like colon cancer, blood cancer, and stomach cancer, right? Absolutely. If you've got radon in the air in the house and you are on a well, 100% of the time you will have radon in your well water. It's undisputable. Everywhere in North America, that's the case. All you have to do is test your water, test your air. It's very cheap, very easy to do. Once you find out if you have those radon levels, you take the next step. The only way to know you have it is to test. Colorless, odorless, tasteless. So now that we have addressed the air quality issues, we also have to address the water issues. And by installing the air well, we now address both. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna install basically an aeration system down this well. It's patented technology called air well. We're gonna be feeding lengths of pipe down this well. We'll go past the pump right down to bedrock, which in this case is about 100 feet. We'll pull it back up about five feet so we're not slurping mud through the system. Yes. We'll introduce some air into the pipe and that will aerate the water. Mm -hmm. It'll pull the water from the bottom of the well up through the pipe, aerate it, there's small vents, and it'll release the radon gas outside the house before the water enters the home. So there's two scenarios in your home where you can actually either ingest the radon from the well, or if you're showering, what can happen is all that steam. Oh yeah, for sure. It can change after a 15 minute shower. We can see it go from a level of 40 or 50 becquerels up to 1,000 or 2,000 becquerels. So this is something that people need to start thinking about, is we need to address the radon levels in our water as well as our air. We would always start with the air first, as we did in this house. You know, last yeah. fall we came in, we tested the house. Right. It was above the Health Canada action level, so we dealt with it in the air first. Now we've got to deal with it in the water. So that now we're safe on all levels. Absolutely. 
This is my cat, Loki. We've had him for about seven years now. He's my little Halloween kitty. We rescued him in October, so I always call him my little Halloween cat. He's a black cat in October. He's kind of like a dog. He plays fetch, he's super happy all the time, wants to sit in my lap, do everything with us. He loves to play with the baby, and he's just super needy at all times. I love to spend a lot of my time outdoors, and unfortunately, he can't come with me. He is an indoor cat, which means increased exposure to radon. When I moved into this house, I made sure to get it tested for radon. Radon testing is all about protecting your family from lung cancer. And pets are part of your family too, aren't they?